Hi, my name is Wendy Brennan. I am the CEO of Plan for Prosperity, and we specialize in helping business owners with their marketing challenges. And my particular area of specialty that I like to focus on, I, I can teach you a lot in a lot of different ways, but I like attraction and relationship marketing and everything that relates to that. And so what I want to talk to you today about is uh, trust, because trust is so important in personal relationships and, of course, in business. Um, you know, trust is the strongest bond in a human relationship, you know, and you just think about that for a second. Of course it is. If we don't have trust with one another, there's always going to be that, that little disconnect, you know, that's just going to, just going to, this is going to be something there that I'm just not quite comfortable with and not going to be able to make the next move in our relationship. All right. So, um, we're looking for lasting relationships, right? Um, you know, people come, they go, they, you know, with us for a season. Uh, some are with us for, for a lifetime. But in business, what we're looking for is long-term relationships with our customers, especially if they're using um, our products that, uh, you know, may be very consumable, something we want them to keep up with um, on a monthly basis. And, uh, and just, obviously, that makes sense. We want them for the long term. All right, so how do you go about building uh, relationships with your prospective clients so that they will be comfortable in joining you in business? How do you take a current client and build trust with them so that they stay? And better yet, even refer people to you. How awesome is that, you know, uh, to have people doing your marketing for you and recommending you? And um, so what, what you want to do is, is how it all starts to build that relationship is you're going to invest a piece of yourself into somebody. Okay, um, let me relate it to the personal first, and, and it's really no different in business, but like in your personal life, how do you invest your time in somebody and let them know that, um, you know, I you're important to me, I want to build this relationship, I want it to continue. Uh, there's lots of ways, I mean, for some people it might be, um, well, for all people, I would say you need to invest your time in people. You need to spend time with people. That's how you build your relationships. Um, seems like in this day and age, you can spend time with them over instant messenger or, or email or whatever. You know, there's so many different ways to communicate with technology right now. Um, if you, even if you can't be in the same room together, but just spending time talking and sharing and revealing who you are and having it grow that way. Um, you know, for me, I, I, I feel a real kinship with people when they start to learn about me and they remember things about me. Little things like um, my friend uh, Wendy Knight, she'll say, Okay, I made this salad and I purposely didn't put celery in it because I know you can't stand celery. And I just, I just think that's so sweet. It's like, oh, she knows that about me. She remembered that and then she went out of her way to make it to where she knew that I would enjoy it. And that's really special. That's a relationship builder. And... Um, Gosh, I could go on and on. I guess there's a lot of ways, but what I want to do is get into the, the business aspect of it. And so what happens when you have, you know, this 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 wonderful, you know, match that, that you're really in business you get that when when you're listening to your prospect, okay, they're saying, Wow, she's really listening to me. She really seems to care about where my challenges are and she's uh, She's asking a lot of questions, you know, she, it looks like she's really trying to help me. Well, what that is called is kind of a consultative approach to sales. You know, how can you help somebody with their challenges if you don't find out what their challenges are and what those challenges mean to them? You know, well, what does it mean for you that you can't do this? What, what do you want to accomplish when you, you know, when that does happen? You know, what do you, what's that going to mean for you? And then, um, how could you possibly offer a solution without knowing all these things? And so that leads into, you know, the other thing you want to position yourself in is being a solutions provider. That's going to build trust because when it comes down to it, sales is just fitting somebody's challenge. The answer, you have the answer. Either it's in an informational product or a nutritional product for their health. Um, uh, Maybe they're paying too much for, for some kind of service that they're using, but you have that service and you can save them money. So you're just, you're just fitting them, their challenge, with a solution. But because you've listened to them and you've spent time with them and you've really gotten to know them and you really show them you care, and then you, off, then you offer up your solution, okay? Then you're not a 
pitch man and you know just kind of throwing things at the wind like I'm just gonna tell everybody what I have and just see somebody out there might have this challenge and need my solution okay so that's what we're going for in business and and I what I guess I just want to do today is um, think about how you feel when you need uh, an answer to you know to a challenge that you have would would you like somebody who has the ability to fit you with something to just say here you need this it's the greatest thing on the planet and it's you're gonna love it I love it you know everybody loves it it's the best or would you like somebody to say well tell me about tell me about that tell me more about that okay well what's that gonna mean for you and and what do you need and what do you, what do you, what have you been looking for where what kind of inroads have you made so far what do you, I mean, all this stuff is so fantastic. It's just amazing. you're going to end up with a uh, a really committed uh, long-term uh, customer for your product. And if you're in network marketing, because I do specialize in working with network marketers, also love network marketing, love all those products. They're, most of them are fantastic. You know, if you're in network marketing, this is going to make all the difference for you in converting a prospective customer to a customer. You know, you, you start with you have a prospect and then you have a customer and in network marketing you know the goal is to take your customer and have them become so committed to the product uh, you know really appreciate the company behind it actually see you as somebody that um, they would like to work with there's a business opportunity here get them thinking about gosh I, I could see myself promoting this and I could actually see myself uh, locking arms with this person who represent this product and uh, so it's so important to build the trust at the right time in the right way and you will be amazed uh, over time how many people do end up joining you in your business.